Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Today we'll talk about the 12 emotional manipulation tactics manipulative shoes. Emotional manipulation can occur in many places in life, including toxic or abusive parents, narcissistic bosses, in-laws, friends or partners. It's highly likely that you will not experience emotional manipulation in every aspect of life, but it gives you an idea of when there are signs of this and you should take action. Number 1. Gaslighting Gaslighting is a widely used manipulation technique with the aim of making you doubt yourself. This gives the manipulator ultimate control over you because you feel you cannot trust your own experiences or perceptions. As a victim, it's very normal not to pay attention to it, even if you feel something is wrong. Often it's only when you're no longer in the relationship that you can start to see it. The manipulative person tries to criticize, challenge and question you in order to undermine your perception of reality. You'll find that the person trying to manipulate you will convince you that something is not true, while they make you feel bad or wrong for believing it was true. It's important to know that gaslighting can be intentional or unintentional, and there is a way to stop it. Take a step back and seek advice from a friend or family member who can see it more objectively. You should also confront the person and have an open and honest conversation. That way you can get an idea of whether it was intentional or not. Number 2. Controlling your life The aim of all the manipulation tactics is to gain increased control over you. But in addition to controlling how you feel and act, a manipulator can also shape how your daily life will be. This can be by controlling who you're allowed to see, your study work life, having access to your money and so on. It all comes down to the person wanting to have so much influence that you feel you're not independent or that you cannot make decisions and have an everyday life without them. Number 3. Love bombing. Love bombing happens when you get a lot of compliments, time, gifts and strong emotions. When you receive gifts and a lot of time and energy is being spent on you, the aim is to quickly build trust and intimacy. It's quite natural for many people to feel comfortable receiving a lot of compliments, love and affection, but also a bit confusing. The manipulator uses love bombing to gain control or soften you up so that you won't protest when they manipulate in other ways. There are some ways you can avoid love bombing by regularly meeting up with friends or taking time for your interests without the person being there. Number 4. Playing on insecurities Emotionally manipulative people are very good at spotting a person's insecurities and cracking down on them. A very useful tactic a manipulative person can use is to learn your sensitivities and triggers and use these against you. This means that they know exactly where to press to manipulate you. If you had a childhood where you felt neglected because of selfish parents, then accusing you of being selfish would be an obvious manipulation tactic. It will hit a deep trauma from childhood, which will make you question yourself and you will be motivated to do anything not to seem selfish. It can also occur when your partner says that no one else can love you as much as they do. Number 5. The Silent Treatment Another form of punishment a manipulator can use against you is the silent treatment, which means they shut down communication verbally or electronically in order to get you to do what they want. It can be very normal to want time and space for yourself, but when silent treatment is used as punishment, it's to that extent manipulative. Silent treatment is extremely painful if you want love and care from the other person, which can cause you to do anything to make their behavior stop, even if it means apologizing for something you didn't do. One way to deal with the silent treatment is to tell the person that it makes you feel uncomfortable and frustrated and explain that it doesn't solve any problems this way. Number 6. Name calling. Name calling is a manipulative way to influence your feelings. It's an easy and quick way to belittle your behavior or appearance while they elevate themselves over you. They may call you idiot, dork or other names to appear more important. In this way, they try to convince you that you're not worthy of better treatment. They may call your opinion idiotic or silly if they feel threatened by it. Therefore, they'll target you rather than the argument, 
and undermine your intelligence and credibility. The way this tactic works is that they do it in a small and not so offensive way, gradually building the frequency and intensity as you get more used to it. They will even make it look like it's just a nickname and it's harmless. The way you can deal with name calling is to tell the person what they're doing and it has to stop, avoid getting into an argument or getting emotional. Number 7. Ultimatum. If it gets to the point where a person can't see other ways to manipulate you or they don't get what they want, they'll give you ultimatums in order to maintain control. They'll put you in a difficult position where you're forced to make a decision here and now so that you don't have time to think about it. Ultimatums they can give is if you really love me, you would do it, or if you don't do it, I'll leave you. By forcing you to do things you don't feel comfortable with to prove something is unacceptable and to the extent manipulative. A really good way to deal with ultimatums is to completely ignore them. Don't ask the person if they want to repeat it or clarify what they meant. Pretend it was never said and move on. Number 8. Playing the victim. Manipulative people have a habit of not taking responsibility for their actions, so they play the victim. It's a sign if you find that you're the one who always says sorry, while the other person rarely says they're sorry. They may find themselves telling others in their lives how they've been the victim, even though they've never taken responsibility. One way you can avoid such a situation is to stop and reflect instead of automatically apologizing for something you didn't do or for their behavior. Is it your fault and does it require an apology from you? If this is not the case, you should think twice before giving one. Explain that to the person and if they still demand an apology, it's a good idea to end the conversation. Number 9. Passive Aggressiveness Passive aggressiveness is a way of expressing negative feelings without opening up about them. When a person exhibits passive aggressive behavior, there is no connection between what they say and what they do. When a person shows passive aggressive behavior, they try to stop, change or criticize one's behavior without showing it, as it appears neutral. They can show it by silent treatment or playing the victim, which we covered earlier. There are ways to deal with passive aggressive behavior. If it's someone you don't have a close relationship with, you can refuse to have contact with them while they have this behavior. On the other hand, if it's someone you're close to, you should confront this behavior as it can cause major problems in a relationship and it can be a sign of underlying problems. Number 10. They project their feelings onto you. Manipulators can find themselves projecting their feelings onto others. This happens by the person giving you some of the characteristics that they have, but which they do not want to admit. If you experience that your partner suddenly accuses you of being unfaithful, or that your colleague accuses you of slandering others, then this may be a sign that they themselves are guilty of what they accuse you of. It may also be that the person feels inferior and therefore accuses you of being incompetent. A manipulative person wants to place unwanted feelings and desires on you. One of the ways you can deal with projection is by asking questions. Try to find out what it is that makes the person project their feelings onto you. Number 11. Triangulation. Triangulation occurs when the person pulls other people into the conversation, making it harder for you to stand up for yourself. The manipulator may try to bring family members, friends or colleagues on their side. They manage to get others in your circle to help solve a problem, making it look like you are the problem. They strategically use this technique to make sure they win the argument and carefully choose someone they know will agree with them. This can make you question the manipulator less in the future and at the same time make you feel isolated, increasing the dependence on the manipulator. To avoid triangulation, try to involve as few people as possible. When you confront the person, make sure no one is around. If the person tells you that there are others who believe them, avoid making contact with these people. Number 12. They test your boundaries. If you find yourself with a narcissist or generally toxic person, you may be at risk of having your boundaries tested. 
The more that person can be allowed to exceed your limits without consequences, the more they can allow themselves in the future, because a new standard will be set for you. This is why you will experience more severe cases of emotional abuse, because they're constantly pushing your limits. When you've had enough, the abuser will hoover you back with empty words and sweet promises of how they will change, only for the purpose of continuing the manipulation against you. When it is that the person tries to reset your boundaries, then instead of you going back to your old boundaries, your new boundaries become even stronger. In this way, the manipulator can continue the abuse in the future. The way you can deal with the manipulator testing your boundaries is by standing up for yourself and confronting the person. Tell them it's not okay and you don't want to deal with it. It's important that you respect your own boundaries as well as they have to respect them. We hope you found this video helpful and have a sense of whether you're being manipulated or not. Remember to take care of yourself, that's the most important thing. Take a look at this video, Psychological Tricks to Earn Respect Immediately, and we'll see you in the next video.